What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today I have another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today I'm gonna give you guys a full rundown of what I think is the best feature added to the Galaxy S23 Ultra, and it's not a hardware feature, it's a software feature. We're gonna talk about Bixby Text Call finally coming to English. I'm gonna give you guys a full overview of how it works and also do a test call. If you guys haven't bought your Galaxy S23 Ultra yet, check out the links below. Uh, you guys can pick one up from me and get a mystery box if you're interested, all that's below as well. So let's go ahead and get right into it today. Today, we are going to talk about Bixby Text Call. I've been using it on the S23 Ultra now for a few days. The way you access this is by going to your phone, go to settings, right up here, you'll see Bixby Text Call. Now, this has been available on the Galaxy S22 Ultra for One UI 5.0, for quite a while. It was available in the One UI 5.0 beta, and then it was available once One UI 5.0 came to stable. But the problem was it was only available in Korean. It said that down there. However, as you guys can see, now with the Galaxy S23 Ultra, they have finally unleashed Bixby Text Call in English. Now, if you don't know what Bixby Text Call is, it allows Bixby to answer the calls automatically, and you can choose responses that you type or tap, um, and those are read aloud. You see the conversation in a text chat bubble, but you can't hear the conversation and the caller only hears an automated voice. Um, so basically you don't have to pick up the phone. Your voice won't be on the phone call. Bixby's voice will be on the phone call. So I'm gonna demo this, but let me show you guys a couple of other things before we go through. Uh, you can, when you enable this, first of all, you're gonna have to download the English language pack for Bixby text call from the Galaxy Store. It's like 300 megabytes, so don't necessarily, unless you have unlimited data, I guess, don't, don't necessarily do that on cellular. Um, but you can then go down to language and voice, and you can choose from various voices. Now, there are only four English voices. There's actually like eight or so Korean voices, if I remember right. Uh, you can still change it to Korean, by the way, too, as well. It's still there. But uh, these are the voices for English. I'll show them to you here. Hi, I'm Bixby. Choose... Hi. Hi, I'm Bixby. Choose the voice you'd like me to use for calls. Hi, I'm Bixby. Choose the voice you'd like me to use for calls. Hi, I'm Bixby. Choose the voice you'd like me to use for calls. Hi, I'm Bixby. Choose the voice you'd like me to use for calls. Okay, so those are your options. Uh, I decided in the end to use voice Hi, two, I'm but that's just my personal preference. Those are the options that you have in English. You guys heard it was setting off my Galaxy S22 Ultra because it kept saying, hi, Bixby. So once you choose a voice, you can then choose a bunch of quick responses that you want to use. And there are some populated ones that are already there, like, who are you? Repeat that. Call you later. Is this urgent? Uh, and then I added just a couple at the top that I'll probably use quite a bit on my way, which is something that if I ever decided to screen a call from my wife, which... That's probably a terrible idea. I'll get in a lot of trouble for that. But I could use that as a response if I was driving or something. Uh, but I have driving mode usually set up for that. Uh, and then this one, which I think I'll probably use a lot because whenever I get spam calls and scam calls, one thing I always tell them to do is to remove me from their call list or put me on a do not call list. Now, how much that actually helps you know, is, is, is debatable. But I always say that and then I just hang up the phone. So I can just tap that and then automatically just hang up whenever I have this. So down here is where you're gonna add quick response. You add a shortcut text and then enter a response there. Uh, and then you can edit these like up here. You could delete some if you don't want them anymore. So at the bottom, it also tells you, of course, voice transcription may not be accurate. I'm gonna do a test of this to see how accurate it is in just a second. Now, before I do that, I do want to remind you guys that if you have recently upgraded to a Galaxy S23 Ultra, you're looking to save some money on your wireless service, you can do that by switching to my partners at Mint Mobile. They have premium wireless starting at just 15 bucks a month, and they also have plans to suit every single budget and also data needs. They have a four gig plan for 15 a month, 10 gig plan for 20 a month, 15 gig plan for 25 a month, and an unlimited plan for $30 a month. All their plans come in unlimited talk and text, nationwide coverage, and also you get wireless hotspot included as well. Uh, also, it's very, very simple to switch. You can either get an eSIM or you can get a physical SIM with a SIM tool sent right out to you. So you can switch out the SIM, put that in your new phone. If you got a new S23 Ultra, that's what I'm using in my phone right now is Mint Mobile. I've had great service so far. I've been using it for about four and a half months. I used it in my S22 Ultra, now switch to the S23 Ultra. Had a great experience overall, and if you guys are looking to save a lot of money on your wireless service, 
they allow themselves to do that by not having all the overhead like the big carriers. They pass all the savings on to you. Also, for a limited time, if you guys want to sign up for a three-month plan with Mint, if you go to my link, mintmobile.com slash Springer, you can also get a free phone case for any phone, including the S23 Ultra, of your choice. It could be a UAG case. Um, I will send one out to you for free if you sign up with my link, mintmobile.com slash Springer. It's also in the description in the pinned comment, and I want to thank Mint for being partners with the channel. So let's go back and let's go ahead and do a Bixby text call. Now I'm gonna go ahead and call myself here from my Galaxy S22 Ultra, and then we're gonna take the call and kind of see what happens here as the call proceeds. So here we go. So I'm calling in, here it comes, there I am. So I'm gonna tap Bixby text call here, swipe up to continue. responses to you hello yes i'm calling to let you know that there's an amazing opportunity to update your car warranty is this urgent could you repeat that please what so all this works you can type in real time as well and you can see the transcription is actually pretty good on the screen now obviously if this were a real spam call, I would just type this one. Remove me from your call list. And then I would type this. And I hang up on them. Uh, so overall, um, pretty good. I would say the text transcription works really well in English. I couldn't really test that when it was in Korean because, of course, in Korean, I don't speak Korean. If you speak Korean, you probably had a fun time using it before. But uh, even when it was in Korean, I was having it answer my spam calls for me just to play with people. But now I can actually see what people are saying and have more targeted responses. I personally think this is a game-changing feature. Google's had this for a little while on their call screen feature on the Pixel devices. It's one of the reasons I actually enjoyed using a Pixel 7 Pro. But uh, of course, Samsung has the amazing customization I can just never get away from. So adding this feature on top of all the customization we already have is really next level. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this feature in the comments. Are you excited about it? Definitely make sure you enable this and play around with it. I think you'll get a lot of use out of it when you get your Galaxy S23 Ultra. Again, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification icon if you guys want to see more great Samsung customization content. Also, if you're looking to save some money on premium wireless, go to mintmobile.com springer. You can also get that free case if you send me an email after using my link to sign up for a Mint Mobile plan. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.